I'm guessing this episode we might see Fonzel kind of pop off against Ladros and Mars because it's called Defector's Atonement. I know Fonzel thinks he needs to atone for the stuff he's done. I am so excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 60. We are getting near, I believe, the end of this arc, even though I have no idea where it's going to go. A lot of people have been commenting that uh, they haven't told me a specific episode, which I like a lot, but a lot of people have told me like the whole, like maybe it's the whole 60s, maybe it's early 60s. There's a couple episodes in here that everyone's been saying are some bangers and they can't wait for me to watch. I'm just as excited, just to let you guys know. But I do know we are ending, that's why I assume the ending of the arc relatively soon, because this is episode 60. And if my notes are correct, the next opening starts at episode 65. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, am I going to continue watching the openings? Am I going to watch the new openings? Um, like ep openings 12 and 13, I believe, are, are out since the last time I did, since I did the entire openings video. The answer is no, just because with context now that i have it makes spoilers so much more predominant like legitimately going back in terms of trying to remember anything that i saw from that opening video the only thing that i remember that i haven't seen in the show yet the only thing well there's two things one i know you know has some sort of power up form obviously he's the he's one of the main characters he was definitely gonna have this i don't remember what it looks like which is amazing so i do you know that's not something that's kind of a spoiler whatever you know i do know there's also something about a wedding now a lot of people in the comments about oh the wedding like getting like, all excited but i have no idea what's gonna or some sort of wedding something that goes on with a wedding so but would i know a lot more of these spoilers knowing a lot of the context that i know now probably so i'm not gonna be watching i'll probably end up doing what the normies are doing if you guys don't know the normies who are watching naruto shippuden right now they don't watch the openings until their discord tells them they've gotten all the spoilers out so let's say uh they won't watch the opening for five episodes until all those spoilers have been confirmed then they can watch the opening i'll probably do that with black clover if you guys are interested in letting me know that kind of stuff hop over on discord or just dm me and say hey i wouldn't watch opening seven until seven episode or until episode blah 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 i wouldn't do that i would really appreciate that because i want to watch the openings but i really don't want to get spoiled at all either but i say we hop into this episode i'm excited to find out what happens with fauna and the salamander and fonzel and ladros and all of them so let's hop right on this episode i'm excited Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Jujutsu Kaisen, Haikyuu, many, many more to come, we are four episodes ahead. Uh, links are always in the description for you guys if you guys want to check that out. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys oh so much. Black Clover, episode 60, Defector's Atonement. Let's do it. Imperfect little brat. She loves saying imperfect. But no, we... It looks like we did do it. It looks like Fauna, at least Salamander, has been taken down. She's just sitting there watching the whole time. How is Fonzo going to do this? So Ladros doesn't recognize him, but Mars definitely would. So he does. Ooh! Okay, Air Slash. Defector's atonement, exactly what I assume. He looks so badass, I won't lie. He wants to be such a good teacher, he wants to be like... He doesn't want to hurt them at all, but you know, I feel so bad. They all have these diamonds imbued in them, they're so strong. So their king is really sick, and the queen of witches has lived... Okay, that actually makes sense for this invasion. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, he's going after the underlings. The peons. Good. Wind creation, Emperor of the Slashing Winds. Winter Wind? 
Whoa, those uh, yeah, the little icicle blades that he shoots last. Yeah, he's just mowing them down. It looks like he uses a broom to fly, but it looks like it's also imbued with like wind to make it like quicker, speedier, more agile. You know. Smart. So that makes sense why he'd go after the peons first. Otherwise, because they wouldn't be able to attack. Oh, yep, and here comes the golem barrage from oh, and the okay wishes. Damn. I'm saying it's because they literally know you guys. Ooh, flashback. Damn, <laughs> Mariella. Savage. Oh my, she is. I didn't. Ri so, Fonzel's not the only one atoning. I like that. For her, also, she needs to atone for the dark stuff she's done back in the day. But I didn't. Okay, Mariella. So I know it doesn't matter too much. I'm just curious because his breath was looked like he was super cold right there when he breathed. Does she use ice magic? Because it seems to resemble more jagged structures with her swords, like ice. Maybe I'm just, I, I could have already been confirmed this. I'm just an idiot. Versus like uh, Fauna and Mars, because they're all a part of the Diamond Kingdom. So it wouldn't be too off-putting to me that they use similar veins in terms of magic. I mean, so far I've seen wide varieties of magic from them, so I can't use that as an excuse. But if she uses ice... Because Fauna and Mars use crystal. I think it's different. I just want to know. Does she use ice? Yes, I love that cut to Asta as well. Damn. Oh my god. Whirlwind, wind binding magic. Oh, that's cool. It keeps your limbs separated. Little deranged. My final student. I like that title. He's no longer a teacher, he's retired. Hell yeah. Done running. He's gonna atone. He's gonna fight. Oh, the Emperor Wind Sword, whatever, looks so cool. Imagine he cuts Ladros fucking in half. Oh, don't tell me we're getting all the young kids. Look at Mars. There's Ladros, yep. Aw. Your powers exist to protect others. Yeah, well, how how far they've fallen, you know? What corruption and, you know, governmental ideals do to you. And physical reinforcement spells. Okay, so he's able to reinforce his body enough to be able to take that hit. And then Mars is coming and not going to let you do that anymore. Mountain Wind. Sheesh. So many cool spells got winter wind mountain wind the binding wind that gale thrust who didn't have a magic attribute yeah really so he has to take care of him yep he has to take care of him right now he's gonna smile surgically modify me and he gained a certain magical ability absorption and emission that's what he does when he doesn't have an attribute. He just takes your magic and uses it against you. That's actually really strong. That's super creative. <sighs> yeah, a couple of people. His fiance, his student.
Million lasers. He does do an emission type spell where it goes crazy. It's a barrage of destruction. He's even hitting his own men. So he was able to use his magic to at least oh Dominante definitely would have gotten hit by that too. So Who is gonna come in and save the day here? With his dark eyes and his red pupils. Oh my lord. Yeah. He has a complex being not born with an attribute, so he wants to show off his powers to the world. I thought they were fiancés. I guess they're married at this point. Shouts out to Dominante standing up for Fonzel, though. Oh my lord. Nah, that's just not gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen. Oh, Mars? The big Mars sword? Okay. He's been thinking a lot since what happened with Asa and Lotus and all that. Wow. Legally, he's wanted the chance to kill Mars. Jesus, Lazarus is crazy. Look at this guy. He's gigging. He's happy as balls. Oh, Mariella. Wow, he can even eat that. He literally is like dissolving it. That's my little Mars. Phoenix robe. That's so dope. Throwback to when he used that. I could see that. With spirit magic or even the queen of witches magic. Okay. Possible. Auntie magic. <laughs> Wait till you get the full scope. Oh, he's like, he's like, Oscar's here? Okay, well, they both reinforce their fucking fist and just fucking sock him. We're finally back to seeing Fauna. We, ha I'm just now realizing we haven't seen them this whole episode. Look at him. We don't want to hurt you. You're still, he's trying to talk her down from the ledge. Asus, best boy. Was that episode not four minutes long? Are you serious? What the hell? So I like the title of this episode when it comes to atonement and feeling bad for what you've done when it comes to both Fonzel and Mariella because they both had to do what they had to do in order to survive and progress throughout life. But then they got tired of it and had to go against that and that was even stronger or even more difficult I should say because you know there's the right path and then there's the easy path and the right path usually is not the easy path so it's like... I understand it, and they both went ham. Ladros's magic is insane. He didn't have an attribute when he was a kid. I can totally understand how that would make a complex out of someone and turn him into the one he is, especially after getting surgically modified like he did. He's able to, he's just like that, he's one of the sages, um, not sages, he's one of the six paths of Rinnegan from Naruto. He can absorb and emit chakra, I almost literally said chakra. He can absorb and emit magic. That's so crazy. And it looks like, it looks similar to light magic, like licks, but it's not. You know, it's literally just like laser beams. It's like magic, or it's like mana, and it's pure essence. Like, he just... Like, yeah, when um, Fonzel hit him with that gale thrust, he had like a wind bubble around him, which is really cool, because it looks like, I'll kill all your friends with your magic. It's 
super creative but when he shot it out it looks like he literally is just taking it turning it into its pure magic form and just boom shooting it out like it's mad man of beams that's crazy and then mars coming in to save the day with dominante and fonzel clutch mariella as well clutch he says his uh, lessons stuck through to him which after everything that's gone on with mars i am super excited about that i cannot wait for him to see asta again and i cannot wait for him to see fauna again that is going to be crazy i'm assuming it's going to be either next episode or the episode after that or the episode after who fucking knows all i know is it's going to happen and i am excited for it shout out to all the witches the golems dominante everyone stepping up to, to fight these guys and going ham this is super exciting even the queen said wow look at asta he he, he wasn't just talk you know he was able to actually do it so i gotta see where this fight ends up i got to know i got cliffhanger if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below um you know if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes to upload check out that patreon like i said four episodes ahead full length on there as well follow me on all the social medias instagram twitch and twitter at dapper darius i'll catch you guys in this next episode peace out you guys